in Millport, Alabama again. I was just here about three weeks ago, I guess. Did uh, four jobs up here. We're gonna do one more again today. Uh, what this is is an old house place, and the guy who owns this is uh, retiring out of the army. He's currently in Texas right now, and as soon as he retires, he is uh, gonna move back here. He's gonna move in a mobile home right here, and then once he gets that done, that'll give him a place to live, then he's gonna demo this old house and get it gone, because the house is just too far gone, and he's gonna build another house right there while he's living right here. So rather than what like normal people do, he is doing the right thing. He is gonna go ahead and take out that forky tree right there, this one right here, and this behemoth right here. This is a giant white oak, a uh, huge tree. I'm sure it's probably got full of metal in it too. I'm gonna cut it with the 881. Got a 41 inch bar on it, be running a 404 pitch chain. I'm gonna try to cut it pretty low and hopefully I'll be below any metal that's in it. But you take a tree like this, that big, around the home place, and this lake right here, this used to be the old Millport City Lake, and it's not, they don't, it's not a public lake anymore, but there's gonna be metal in this thing, and hopefully I'm underneath it. See, I see nails right there. See, there's old uh, nail right there. There's two more up there. Of course, you got a bird feeder right here, but there's gonna be stuff in the interior of this tree. There's a screw right there, another nail and another nail. So there's three nails, three things right there in it. Uh, so he's gonna go ahead and get these trees down first before he sits his mobile home in there and that's gonna be pretty smart because a tree like this right here to remove it, uh, my charges on this right here, if you say you had a house sitting here and I was having to work around the house and we either roped or crane, I mean, full clean up on this tree, I mean, we're looking at $15,000 to take that tree down right there. That is correct. Uh, that's what it would take to get me to do it. So anywho, I'm gonna unload the Mini. She's of course got a swing in it too. So unload the Mini and we're gonna fire up, get going. I'll film the whole thing where you can see it.
it's out there. These son of a gun is going to have roots slap out the mud we, motor out we, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad y'all stopped by and get to see this thing get the ground. Yeah. You don't get to see them this often that big like that. It's got metal in it. You can see all the stain in it. But I think I missed everything. You missed most of it. Yeah. I believe most of it's above it. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Time to have like you hit about metal. age in that tree. Well, it's going to be very, very hard. You about have to stain it to get to it. Yeah. Cool. Just and had just a little bit of doty right in the middle right yeah, there. He lost it? his heart, but yeah. you have to stain it to, to be able to see these Can rings. That you just lost your home. That thing's seen a bunch of sunrises and sunsets yeah, right there, buddy. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was telling them on Monday morning. My grandmother was down here with a, a wash pot washing clothes every Monday yeah. morning. Yeah. That made a good bench, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we're at 68 right there. 68. Mm hmm. We're pushing six foot on this dude. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this tree up. This is the 400, my newest one. I'm running a 28 inch bar on it. A lot of people want to know why I run the 400. It's just simply this. The 400 is extremely light, and the saw has got mind-boggling power. I mean, listen at it and pulling this 28, you know, as I start making these larger cuts, I actually cut the whole stem in half with the saw, and the saw just don't back up. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, light with a 25-inch bar full of gas and oil waste, uh, 18 pounds, 6 ounces, and I would imagine even with this 28 on there, it's still gonna be probably right at 19 pounds or so. I had never weighed it with the, with the 28 on there, but I've got this saw, it's, this chain is just about gone on this one. It's almost all the way at the witness marks. And I have got this thing, some kind of aggressive. You can hear it as it's pulling. You know, you you the people who know, know as it's pulling in this wood, what that sound sounds like. but. This wasn't a deal to cut this tree up. I uh, The only thing I was supposed to do was get these trees on the ground. But these giant trees are no joke. So I opted to go ahead and release nearly all these limbs out of it. Because, man, you're talking about getting killed. You can get mangled and killed by a tree like this so fast if you don't have the experience. So, I, you know, I, I went ahead and did it uh, for two reasons. Uh, number one, to help them out when they go to try to deal with it so nobody get because i didn't want to get a call of somebody getting hurt and then also i wanted to get some video footage obviously for youtube but for training purposes for somebody uh, wants to watch this and say they're somewhere else and they don't have an option to to uh you know have somebody do something like this maybe they can watch this video and figure out a few tricks and what have you as far as that goes but didn't want to cut it up with the uh, 881. That saw is just that saw is meant for just just cutting a torque. That is a torque monster. The saw only turns about 10,000 RPMs, but it, you talking about a 41 inch bar with a 404 pitch chain pulling that thing like it does? It's just it just hogs. I mean, it's like a giant slug, and it's heavy. And uh, there's no need in running it in the top of the tree up here, cutting this stuff out when you do it with a lot smaller saw with the speed and and uh, the chain speed and all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy running 881 uh, when I you know when I do run it and film with it. It's a lot of fun. So comment down below on your thoughts and everything. But this was just a behemoth of a tree i get to i get to take these monsters down quite often too it's uh, amazing how many of them come my way as uh you know as i'm on my tree work journey so we'll catch y'all later later taters
Don't forget March the 22nd, 23rd is open house at Biddy Sawworks right here in Columbus, Mississippi. It's B-I-D-D-Y. They're on Highway 69 South right there in Columbus. You can look them up. They're going to be doing it all day on Friday. And everything in the store is going to be 10% off. He's got other deals on lawnmowers. He's going to be giving away a bunch of stuff. Xmark is going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. All of his steel, Xmark, uh, Rotary, all those guys are going to be there representing there's uh i will be there in and out on friday i'm gonna be setting up because saturday is a big day uh we're gonna be doing saw demos jill will be there she'll have my merchandise there selling it for me and <clears throat> if you come and you want to run one of my saws this is a crazy opportunity for you to be able to run some of my stuff i will suit you up people all time asking about those saws all time all time asking about them here is your chance. I'll suit you up, put chaps on your helmet with the scent on it where I can talk to you. And if you want to hold my saw in your hand and run it and, and find out what a high performance, high revving, completely all the way changes all the way out to the nth sharpness, run it and see what it feels like. This is your opportunity. If you're in the market for a chainsaw and you, you don't know what to buy, you can come and I can help you choose what you need to buy. A lot of people have a very big misconception about what they need, what they want to buy. Once they run one and they figure out the ins and outs and make their decision accordingly to that. And we can talk about chainsaws. We can talk about tree work. You know, last year I had well, one guy come from uh, Georgia, had a guy come from Louisiana. I had another guy come from uh, nearly Mobile that came came up. So, you know, you take five hours away. That's not that bad to drive. And, man, just make a weekend out of it and come on and hang out. But even chainsaws, brand new chainsaws, trimmers, everything in the store is going to be 10% off. So that'll cover you on your sales tax. Our sales tax here is 7% of Mississippi. So to cover you on the sales tax plus a little bit more. So if you need a lot more parts, you know, belts, oil change kits, 
uh, oil mix, pre-mix gas. Blake has it all in there and plenty of it. And also his landscaping materials outside, his mulch, topsoil, all that stuff. It's going to be marked down too. So come on out. Jill and I will be there all day Saturday till the last person's gone. So it's going to be a long day for us. But uh, looking forward, uh, you know, people all the time ask me, how can they get to me, meet me, whatever, mix and mingle? This is your opportunity uh, right here because I'm kind of, I'm giving up a Saturday of tree work and we're going to do this with Blake. And I like Blake, you know, enjoy working with him, doing a lot of work and different things with him, a lot of different interactions. And uh, it's all about moving products. And that's what we're going to do uh, Saturday. I'm probably going to, I will have my, uh oh, Lord and mercy, come back up here, tripod. Uh, I will have a mini excavator up there and uh because i'll have it to move wood and probably gonna go ahead and bring my lift up there too i'm gonna have my spider lift up there because it's just cool people if you've never seen one of them things in person they're just really really cool and if things was things slow down somebody wants to ride in the spider i'll take them up in the spider and let them ride so uh bring the kids out man it'll be a it'll be a good time but again i'll have well, I did a video the other day. I'll have a uh, 362. I'll have all three of my 400s. I have three different bars on them. I got a 20, 25, and a 28. I'll have the um, 500 will be there, and it's got a 28 on it. Then I'll have the 881, the 661 will be there too. So plenty of plenty of saw seems like i'm missing missing leaving one out right now whatever but i don't know they'll all be there and blake's gonna have a couple saws for me that i can use that are non-pro version saws all of mine are, are pro stuff and uh so if you're you know you're looking for something that you're not wanting to spend that pro money on you just need a saw you got that and he'll have that sitting there too so Looking forward to it, uh, doing all of it, but appreciate y'all watching. We'll catch y'all later. And that's the 22nd and 23rd of March, 2024. So we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.